Well, there's a lot of myths of Kitty Knight, of who she was and what she did. Um, and the importance of this weekend and the reenactment we're putting on is to dispel the myths of Kitty Knight. Kitty Knight uh, was an unmarried woman, and for of her day and age, was pretty uncommon. Um, and she was proud of that. Actually, on her, her tombstone at Old Bohemia Church up in Warwick, it actually says, Miss Kitty Knight, to make sure that everyone knew that she was an unmarried lady and she was an independent, fierce, strong-willed woman. Um, she was the daughter of a local plantation owner in Cecil County, just across the river from here. And... Um, at a very young age, she decided she wanted her own independence, and she decided to rent a home here in Georgetown from one of, I believe it was her uncle who owned the house here. During May of 1813, during the War of 1812, she actually um, decided to stand her ground against the British as they came up the river. The British first came up the river and attacked Fredericktown across, across on the Cecil County banks. After they had ransacked and pillaged and plundered their way through there, they turned their attention to Georgetown. But at that point, everyone else had already left and run for the hills, went up to Galena and took cover. And she was the only one left. Her and her elderly neighbor who lived in the adjoining house here on the property. Um, when the British approached her here at the front steps of her house and wanted to burn her house, she convinced them to stand back and using her sharp tongue <laughs> she was able to thwart their efforts uh, as well as save the house of her elderly neighbor who was bedridden and destitute so the legend goes and that's really what we're trying to show is in our reenactment is what happened from the account we can find and to dispel the, the misnomers of what she was and she didn't you know, she wasn't a prostitute. <laughs> she didn't run a whorehouse in Galena. Um, she was just a strong-willed woman for her time, which was very, very, very unusual. And that's something to be remembered 200 years later. It will be the weekend of May 3rd through the 5th. Um, it's the Legend of Kitty Night and Dogwood Festival weekend uh, coming up here between Galena and Georgetown. The weekend kicks off... May 3rd, on Friday evening, there will be a VIP dinner and lecture here in, at the Kitty Night House. Fireworks over the harbor, and a ball to follow. Uh, Saturday is the Galena Dogwood Festival, with the parade and the festival through the, the streets of downtown. Uh, Miss Kitty will make an appearance on site, and probably have a little skirmish with the British. And then the culmination of the weekend will be Friday, I'm sorry, Sunday, uh, down here at the Kitty Night House again. Um, for the festival, we'll have artisans out here, boat tours of the harbors, and the climax of the day at one o'clock will be the reenactment of the legend of Kitty Night. So one umbrella. Well, what we are is we're the land of the, I guess, the business misfits. We don't quite fit to the chambers of commerce in each of the counties because they're more centrally focused on the larger towns. So we're all the guys that are in between. And um, what I've done in the last three years as president of the SAS Trust River Business Council has been to try to bring the group up to date, create a new website, and try to bring technology into our business and, and into our organization so we can communicate with each other effectively and um, spread the message of what we're doing. And, and really the population around here in our summer and summer months is very similar to Rock Hall. It doubles and triples in some areas um, as far as when the folks who come down for weekend homes and or and or just to their boats. It's a very similar area but two totally different markets again. Um, if, as far as what our pool is of the folks who come here for that. Um, and two different types of cultures in each of the towns as well. And, and I think you probably can tell that from any town or area on the eastern shore you go to, Kent County as well, Kent 
to Cecil or Kent to Queen Anne's, totally different cultures of people, but very unique and very special in their, each of their own ways. So,